All right, everybody. Today we're going to discuss switches. A switch is an alternative to using many else if statements. It compares one value against many matching cases. Here's an example of what you don't want to do. I have this program. We have variable month. Month is of the integer data type. The user will type in a number 1 through 12 to represent the month. If month is equal to 1, it is January. Else if month is equal to 2, it is February. Else if month is 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. This is what you don't want to do because it's inefficient. It's how the game Yandere Simulator was created, if you know what that is. A better solution would be to use a switch. This is how to write one. I'm going to delete all of this. We will type switch, parentheses, curly braces. What value would we like to examine against matching cases? Let's examine our month. To write a case, we would type case, then the value. Let's check to see if month is equal to one. So case one colon. On the next line, what do we want to do if month is equal to one? Let's display a message. Standard output, it is January. At the end of this case, add break to break out of the switch. So that is case one. Let's work on case two. So case two, it is February. I think the rest is self-explanatory. I'll speed up the footage. We have our 12 cases, one through 12, each case corresponding with a month of the year. Let's run this. Enter the month. Let's say that the month is four for April. It is April. One more time. The month is 12, it is December. So a switch is an alternative to using many else if statements. It's more efficient and easier to read. If there are no matching cases, we can execute a default case. Type default then what would we like to do? Standard output, let's say, please enter in only numbers one through 12. Enter the month, uh, let's type negative 42. Please enter in only numbers one through 12. So the default case is kind of like the else statement. If there are no matching cases, we execute whatever's within the default case. Let's try one more example. This time we'll have a user enter in a character, a letter grade. We'll display a custom message depending on what grade they have. Char grid standard output what letter grade. Standard input grade. Then we'll create a switch. Switch, parentheses, curly braces. We're examining our letter grade against matching cases. The first case will be the character A. What will we display if somebody receives an A? Standard output. You did great. Then break. Case B, standard output, you did good, then break, case C, standard output, you did okay, break, Case D, standard output, you did not do good. Break, case F, standard output, you failed. Break, then let's add a default case.
please only enter in a letter grade A through F. Let's try it. What letter grade? I received an A. You did great. What letter grade? F. You failed. Then let's test our default case. What letter grade? Pizza. Please only enter in a letter grade A through F. So yeah, that's a switch, everybody. It's an alternative to using many else if statements. It's more efficient and easier to read. Your assignment is to create a switch and post it in the comment section. And well, yeah, those are switches in C++.